GameRex presents 10 things you didn't know about Solitaire. Yes, Solitaire, that game that's packaged with basically every single computer in the entire world. You'd be surprised, there's actually some pretty interesting things about it. So let's get started off with number 10. Let's talk about the origin of Microsoft Solitaire. It was developed by a summer intern named Wes Cherry. Unfortunately for him, he didn't get any royalties for his work creating the entire game, despite it being one of the most used Windows programs ever. Mr. Cherry coded this game when he should have been studying for his college finals. He has said in interviews that he's a little bitter for not receiving any royalties, but while he hasn't gone on to fame and fortune, he still codes stuff to this day, just nothing really as monumental as Solitaire. But I mean, how do you beat that? And at number 9, there's actually professional Solitaire players. And I'm not even talking like Solitaire cards on a table, I'm talking Microsoft Solitaire. While this industry didn't exactly take off, and maybe for obvious reasons, in 2002, CNET reported on a woman named Mary Dion who made a modest living playing and winning Solitaire in online gambling games. In 2002, she claimed she made over $250,000 playing Solitaire. She won this just by playing on skill-based sites such as World Winner, which isn't exactly a big thing anymore and I guess for obvious reasons since they're giving people away hundreds of thousands of dollars to play solitaire but it's just crazy to think that there's someone out there who made more money than I will probably ever make in my life just playing solitaire even though a lot of people do kind of technically play solitaire for a living if you think about it how many people just sit and play solitaire at work on their computer yeah exactly and at number eight, this is very interesting, especially for you smarty pants out there. Mathematicians and theorists actually struggle to calculate the probability to win a game of solitaire. And it turns out they're really butthurt about it. In the mathematics and probability fields, this lack of being able to figure out solitaire is actually considered one of the biggest embarrassments of applied mathematics. This technically goes for a lot of different versions of solitaire, but Microsoft's version Klondike is no exception. And at number seven, speaking of math, in Windows version of Klondike Solitaire, there are actually 7,000 trillion possible hands. Think about how many hands that really is. 7,000 trillion. That's like some like end of men in black shit where like, you know, kind of, kind of zooms out and it turns out we're all marbles on a space board game. Does anyone even understand what I'm talking about anymore? I'm making a video about solitaire. So basically, if you're looking for a game with ultimate longevity and that'll last you basically forever, solitaire really is it. And to look on the bright side, since we are talking about math, apparently 79% of the games are theoretically winnable. You just have to be smart enough and good enough, which frankly, most people apparently aren't. But really, when it comes down to it, the galaxy is on Orion's belt, and Solitaire lasts forever. And at number 6, Solitaire actually has a secret cheat code. Yes, you heard that right. The creator Wes Cherry said in an interview that there's actually a cheat for Solitaire for Windows that actually makes most games winnable. Yeah, it's just a straight up old winning cheat code. According to Mr. Cherry, when you're playing Draw 3, all you need to do is hold down Control, Shift, Alt, and click on the deck to get one card. This technically makes most games winnable. So that's a thing. I don't really know who you'd be trying to impress to cheat at Solitaire. It's not like you get trophies or achievements or go up on the leaderboards or anything. Seriously, I like to say that Solitaire is sometimes for miserable, bored people, and if you're cheating at a miserable, boring game, I don't know what to tell you. And at number five, remember when I was talking about us all being just a little marble on a giant galaxy board game? Well, according to mathematics, to play every combination of Solitaire possible, every single human alive today would have to play 100 games every day for 10,000 years. I can't even believe I'm saying this. It's just fun to think about that. That's absolutely crazy. We linked all of our sources down below just so you could read for yourself. And you know what, honestly, imagine we all had to do this. I, I don't think I could play 100 games of Solitaire every day. I could barely play one game of Solitaire a day. But hey, that's just me. And at number four, did you know that the arrangement of the periodic table was actually influenced in part by the card game Solitaire? Yes, we're not talking about Windows Solitaire, we're talking about the real game with cards on a table. Eh, but we kind of just wanted to sneak in some facts for you guys. We want to make you smarter. Yeah, so brush up on your high school chemistry. Remember Dmitry Mendeleev, the guy who basically created the modern periodic table? Well, apparently, according to him, on long train rides, he used to play chemical solitaire, using little flashcards with different elements and facts about them. And that's kind of how he conceptualized and arranged the modern periodic table. People probably called him a nerd, too. I wonder how he'd do at Windows Solitaire. He'd probably freak out if he saw a computer. 
I don't know. And at number three, one of the main reasons for Windows embracing solitaire and basically keeping it existing is because they wanted to include it in Windows to introduce people to dragging and dropping. Yes, that modern action that we use with a computer interface and a computer mouse that we do on a daily basis and don't even think twice about. Yeah, well, people actually couldn't get it at first. That was a very new thing, a new action to people. The ideology behind Microsoft and Solitaire was to soothe people intimidated by the operating system. In the late 80s, early 90s, people were still really getting used to a modern graphical user interface. Apple was using their own ways to get people into it, and Microsoft had Solitaire. And you used the mouse a hell of a lot for Solitaire, dragging and dropping and moving cards around. So thankfully, it eased people into how we use computers today. And at number two, let's talk about Wes Cherry again. Even while he was working on the game and when it was first released, Cherry knew that there was potential and a danger for the game to become a workplace staple. Basically just a giant hit in an office where people can casually waste time on their computer screen while looking busy. According to interviews, he'd actually originally planned to code a boss key into the game, a key that would switch out to desk with some more official work type looking stuff. You know, in order to trick your boss while he walks by and make yourself look busy. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft thought that was a little shady, so they made him remove the feature before it was actually included in. But for Wes Cherry to predict that early on that it was going to be an addicting hit for people in the modern workplace, that's pretty impressive foresight. If he was only just getting started today, he could probably be killing it on the App Store. And at number one, and basically the reason we're making this video, Solitaire is actually the most used Windows application. In 2004, Microsoft's Chris Sells actually described it as the most used Windows application in the world. And that's pretty crazy if you think about it, considering the amount of people that not only game, but use like Outlook or Internet Explorer or Edge or whatever the fuck it's called now. That's insane. If you think about it, it might actually be one of the most important and most played video games. So that's it guys, that's what I got for you. Solitaire, it's a little more important than you might think. Those are the most interesting things that we could tell you about this pretty important game, but we wanna know in the comments what you think about Solitaire. If you like this video and wanna see more, clicking the like button helps us out so much. And if you're new, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.